Good morning, my beautiful peoples. Welcome, welcome back. Good morning. Happy, happy Friday. Come on in, my beautiful peoples. Let's decree and declare our day. This is a great day, peoples, to give God some more praises and thanks. Come on in. Let's decree and declare our day. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome, welcome back to the live stream. I am Gaynell Powell. Come on in today with me for our daily inspiration word and prayer today. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to the, this is a great day, peoples, to give him some more praises and thanks. This is a new day. Come on, somebody, fresh start for you and I. Old things have passed away. All things have become new. But come on in this morning as I get started with prayer this morning. Oh, mm. thank you, Lord God, today, Father God, for this day, Lord God. Thank you for your mercy, Lord God, that is new each day, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for you, Lord God. I thank you, Lord, today, Father God, for your love, Lord God, that unconditional love that you give. Lord God, I thank you today, Lord God, for you, Lord God, I thank you today, Father God, mm, for overflow, Lord God, today, Father God, I thank you for allowing us to see, Lord God, a new day, Lord God, I thank you for your mercy, Lord God, I thank you for your grace, Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, for you, Lord God, your love today, Father God, I thank you today, Father God, mm, today, Father God, for you touching, Lord God, on the live screen, Lord God, today, Father God, you know what is needed, Lord God, I thank you today, Father God, for you stepping in, your divine touch for healing, deliverance, Lord God, setting the captives free, Lord God, I thank you today, Father God, in spite of, Lord God, mm, our wrongs, Lord God, and our faults, Lord God, and issues, Lord God, I thank you for loving us, Lord God, I ask today, Lord God, for your help, Lord God, mm, help us, Lord God, to look to you, Lord God, help us, Lord God, to love, Lord God, our neighbors, Lord God, like how you say to love, Lord God, I thank you today, Father God, for that extended love, Lord God, that you give towards us, Lord God. I thank you today, Father God, helping us, Lord God, to see our neighbor, Lord God, in the eyes. Lord God, like you, Father God, I thank you for showing us practical ways, Lord God, that we can help others, Lord God. And through that help, Lord God, it will show them you, Lord God. Show them, Lord God, that love that you give, Lord God, abroad, Lord God. I thank you today, Father God, for helping us, Lord God, to put aside, Lord God, our agenda, Lord God. Mm, Lord God, to simply love you, Lord God. Love our neighbors, Lord God, to meet them. Lord God, where they are, Lord God, and to love them, Lord God, as you love them, Father God, I thank you today, Father God, for you moving, Lord God, open, Lord God, somebody understanding today, Lord God, to receive your word, Lord God, let it fall on good ground, Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, mm, I'll say it all, Bosha, for your touch, Lord God, today, Father God, forever, give your praise, Lord God, and thanks, Lord God, let it fall on good ground, Lord God, I thank you today, Father God, for being a part of, Lord God, putting somebody back together again, doing, Lord God, and seeing abundantly above more than they could ask or think, Lord God, I thank you today, mm, good ground, good soil, Lord God, I thank you, in your name, I do pray on the broadcast today, amen, amen, but come on in, my beautiful peoples, welcome back this morning, noon, day, evening, night, wherever you're chiming in from, hello, greetings everyone today, welcome back to the live stream, today our daily inspiration word Today will be coming out of the book of Mark today in verse 12, chapter 12, excuse me, chapter 12 and verse 31 today where it states, love your neighbor as your Self. May God have a blessing upon the reading of his word today. And I want to talk about today loving our neighbors, people. Hear me? It's so important that we love our neighbors. You know, I'm finding out we have a fallen world, people. So God, a fallen, a self-gratification, self-centered people's a world also full of hurting people. So I'll leave because they don't know what. They don't know how to love. They don't know God. Hear me today, people. So God, they don't even know who he is. Hear me today. But I want to talk about today. Loving our neighbors and also pleasing God today. I'm going to do a two-part today. Come on, somebody. But come on in this morning with me today. Again, pick it back. You know, we live in a fallen world. You know, a world full of selfish, self-centered people. So foolish, good relation. Hear me today. A world full of hurting people. A society, hallelujah, is all about self-focus, self want self-satisfied. And hear me today. Self-opinion, regardless of anybody else, is all about self. You know, if you scroll through social media, you'll see it. Hallelujah. You'll see that common thread. Hear me today. You'll see it's all about self. 
you know, our society need to change. People say, God, heal me. We got to get back, hallelujah, to that that solid foundation. We got to get back to the base. It hear me today. We got to get back to what God wants. We're leaving God out. Hear me today. We're leaving him out. We're not being pleasing unto him. You know, that's why we got so much going on. We got so much shooting. We got so much killing. We got so much uh, fighting. You know, every time you turn on the news, it's something, you know, burning down. You know, it just terrible people so God because what we don't left him out hear me today we're not loving our neighbors we don't know what love is we got to get back reading our word we got to get back hallelujah putting it back in our homes you know when we didn't have too much we did all that we knew how to love our neighbors we know we knew how to please God you know we we couldn't even eat without what we prayed come on somebody had gathering thankful grateful nowadays people are eating Ain't even saying their prayers. Come on, somebody. God done blessed us and also the devil done blessed too. But hear me today. But God have blessed us with so much now. You don't just left them out. Come on, somebody. <laughs> we don't left him out. We don't kick them to the curb. In other words, we don't kick them to the side. It's just all about self want. Come on, somebody. Self satisfied. And those things, people say, God, is not of God. You know, if we want to see a change, the change can start within you. In me, it don't take but one person. Come on, somebody, for a change, and that change starts in the Word of God, in the Bible. If you want to see Hallelujah, um, life. If you want to see a solution or life changing experience, it take place in the Word of God. When we get in that Word, guess what? Cleansing, <laughs> fresh revelation, wisdom, check us, correction. Hear me today. A great change take about. Hear me today. When we get in the Word. And the devil knows this. You know, if he can keep you on self, guess what? His job is what? To kill, steal, and destroy. So if he can keep you self-centered, if he can keep you trying to, you know, that competition stuff, trying to outbeat beat the, the other person, you hear me? He got you then. Self-focused. Self-satisfied. He got you. Self-opinion. You know, I ain't thinking about what the Word of God, what God says, but self-opinions instead of what the Word of God says. Hear me? He got you then, people say God. You know, the Word of God tells us what? To meditate. You know, God tells us meditate in our Word day and night. There's a reason why he tells us that. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Because he's going to show us what? How to live right, how to walk upright, how to walk righteous, how to walk holy and pleasing before him. Hear me today, people of God. And like I said, piggyback, a lot of us don't know him. <laughs> we don't know how to love ourselves. But if we get in the word, it'll teach us his love. It'll teach us how to love ourselves. How to be pleasing unto the Lord. It'll teach us how to love our neighbors. You know, it'll teach us the first commandment. To love the Lord God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. If we know how to do it, do that, it'll pursue us. What? To love others. Come on, somebody. To love our neighbors. Hear me today, people. Say, God. <laughs> To teach them, you know, it's not about tearing down. Hear me today, people of God. It's about what? Building up. How to be respectful. Hear me today, people of God. You know, how to do things. How to leave that pleasing before the Lord. Hear me today. How to, you know, take flowers. You know, somebody, you know, just do something surprising. Hear me today, people of God. You know, get a card. Write something. You know, do a call. I know we, we can't do too much um, going to people's houses, but outside, you know, or call on the phone, you know, or like I said, we can still do social distancing because we can, hey, hook up together. We just have to do the social distancing. Come on, hear me today, people's got a wave, a smile. Hear me today, people's got loving your neighbor, sitting at example and teaching others, you know, an act of kindness. Hear me today, people's got, this is what it's about, people's got. We got a soon coming king and we want to be pleasing before him. Hear me today, people's got. We want to love our neighbors as we what? Love ourselves. And this is what's going on. No love. No love in the heart. Hear me today, people. Say, God, oh, foolish Galatian, oh, self-centered generation. This is what's going on. You be supportive to things, involve God to help you. You don't, you don't even attend. But we'll go to all this other stuff. It's all this stuff, the, the, the work of the devil. Hear me today. Hear, hear me. Not for all people, because some people do do what's right. But... 80% goes the opposite way. Leaving God out. The very thing that we need, we're leaving them out. You invite it. <laughs> you don't support one. Hear me. No support. Don't support the things of God. Hear me. Don't get involved in the things. Of, hear me. People of God. We leave him out. 
<laughs> but when we didn't have much, <laughs> we did. Come on, somebody. And you seen what? Togetherness. You seen unity. You seen what? Praying. Come on. You seen more grateful, more thankful. Come on, somebody. But now, since God have blessed them, like I said, the devil have blessed too. Because you ain't paying your tithes and offering. You ain't paying oh, big enough to the Lord. It's coming straight from the devil. The devil blesses too. Hear me today, people of God. <laughs> We're doing the opposite, but pleasing God. And you might be saying today, what pleases God <clears throat> when we patiently endure? Mm -hmm. Instead of getting upset and giving people back what they did to you or spreading rumors, spreading gospel, <laughs> we got to endure people to God. That pleases God. When we endure, when we've been misunderstood, that pleases God. Even though I lose you right, and that person could be wrong, but guess what? You don't get out of your, you don't get out of character with them. Hear me today, people. That pleases God. You know, First Peter two and nineteen. And 20 through 20 talks regards to that. That pleases God. If we suffer for doing good, <laughs> it pleases God. We suffer for God. We're going to reign with God. Hear me today, people of God. It helps us as well to what? To be pleasing and also what? To set that example, hallelujah, for others. Hear me today, people of God. Hebrews 13, 15 through 16 also talks about that. I sacrifice of praise. Come on, somebody. When was the last time you told the Lord, Lord, I love you. Lord, I thank you. Come on, somebody. It pleases God when we do that. Come on, somebody. We want to be about kingdom things, kingdom business. Hallelujah. When we sing to God, come on, somebody. That what? That pleases God. Yes, he sees our heart. Some of you say, well, he sees my heart. He knows my heart. Yes, he do. But he want to see it in action. Hear me. He want to hear from you. He want to see you doing it. Loving your neighbor as yourself. Like how he would love. Hear me today, people of God. It's tight, but it's right today. Hear me today, people of God. Heal the spirit of the Lord. Giving to the work of the kingdom, it pleases God. When you get out and you give, you pray. You do surprising things. You do donation. You, you support others. You step in there. No matter the race, the color, hear me. It pleases God when we do that. In spite of, hallelujah, like I said, the religion that they're in, it pleases God. Don't look at the social status. It pleases God when we do that. We want to see others just like how God sees them. That's how we want to look at them. Come on, somebody. But in Philippians, in 4 and 18, Paul tells us what about giving. Give. <laughs> it pleases God, people of God. Forgiving. It pleases. When you forgive and you endure as a good soldier, that pleases God. Let's be appreciated. You know, hear me of things. Come on, somebody. Not a, we ain't appreciated. Nowadays, people ain't appreciated. <laughs> just because they took it out of school, also, hallelujah, just because they took prayer out of school, you can do it in your home. Teach it. You can still pull. When I was teaching, I still pulled kids to the side and told them what? In a nice way, things regards to God to help them. They being bullied. I gave them times when I was, you know, you can still do it, but it's just a way to do it. Hear me today. You know, you put these standards back into place and you'll see great changes. You'll see healing take place. You'll see things restored. You'll see people coming together. You know, we got so much tragedy, so much taking place because what? Ain't no love in the heart of the city. The song used to say, no love. And God is love. No God. Hear me today, people say God, and God is love. <laughs> no pleasing, <laughs> pleasing God. Come on, somebody. Pleasing self. Hear me today, people say God. Be committed. Hear me today. We need to get involved. We need to do regular worship. We need to, hallelujah, please God regularly. We need to be committed to pleasing God. And that pleases him when we do that, people say God. Then we can see changes life-changing experience take place how lead not only just in our life in the next generation how lead the community in our churches hear me today people say god you even got christians that's professing they are christian but not acting like the, the light the light is shining on darkness they'll go and get with somebody else because they well since they'll look at that person well they'll think okay well that person doing right because they quote a couple of scriptures but are you do up uh, but are you loving your neighbor as yourself 
Because God sees everything. Hear me. Are you pleasing God? Hear me today. They'll go and look. They'll be a follower instead of a God follower. Seeking God what he wants you to do. Come on, somebody. You see the fall. You see the fall in the world today. We done failing people, so God. A world of self-centered generation. Hear me today, people, so God. We got to get back to that firm foundation. We got to get back to love. We got to get back to what the word says. Pleasing God, people, so God. Are your lamps burning? <laughs> Come on, somebody, today. We got to put it back. You, well, I don't know how how to pray. Do Psalms 23. That's a prayer. Well, I don't know what to do. You Do you know the Tenth Commandments? Give the Tenth Commandments in your home. Pass it down to your children. Pass it down to your grandchildren. Pass it down to others, your nieces, your nephews, to strangers. Pass it down, people, to God. It's so needed because people don't know who God is. They don't know right from wrong. Hear me today. If we're still breathing, it's for us, hallelujah, to teach it to others. If God done done anything in your life, it's for us to what to set that example and teach it and pass that down to the next generation. Hear me today, people of God. The world is hell building <laughs> self center. Not seeking God, not pleasing God, not loving our neck, not showing love. <laughs> unconditional in spite of what race you is <laughs> what background what religion you is what's your social stat this is what's going on and we've been tricked by the enemy <laughs> he's sitting back and he's laughing hear me today people of God but as I come to my closing today I pray and hope this gets you back get you to that place hallelujah so that we could be Pleasing. If we want to please anybody, let's please God so that we can please Him. Hear me today. But as I come to my closing today, thank you to each of you that have took time out. Thank you, Sister Pete, for tuning in. Good morning. Um, some more came on. Thank you to each of you that have chimed in today. Blessings and peace be unto you. Have a wonderful Friday. But let's get back to loving our neighbors. Let's get back to pleasing God. Pleasing. We can see a solution. We can have, hallelujah, some life-changing experiences taking place on earth. Hear me today, people of God. It's tight, but it's right. Righteous. <laughs> but I love you. Thank you today to each of you that have chimed in today. Blessings and peace be unto you. Have a great day. A wonderful day. And our Lord and Savior, Thank you for chiming in for the ones that watched the replay. Blessings and peace be unto you. Let's love our neighbors. <laughs> Come on, somebody today. Let's be a neighbor. Hallelujah. It's more than just your neighbor next door. It's in our community. It's in our homes. It's in our churches. Hear me today. It's out abroad. <laughs> Hear me today. People say God. Please and God. But I, this time, thank you again to each of you. Have a great day. Friday and our Lord and Savior. Bye bye. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you. Remaking somebody today, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Mm, righteous mind, mind of you, Lord God. Thought like you, Lord God. Moving scales off their eyes, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, for shining the light on darkness, Lord God. I thank you today. Mm, thank you, Lord.